Oh, there's El Chapo making his his debut on the camera or his every episode stop in. Ooh, that door's dirty. Get loaded up. Right, backpacks in. I don't have a folding chair that folds up small, so I'm going to take this one. It ought to blend in real well. This episode of Uncle Dubs, I am going to be stealth camping at the viewer's choice from the video I made back in November. I asked everybody to drop a comment and let me know which of the three sites you wanted me to stealth camp at next. And tonight's video is that site. Uh, this is the first stealth camping video since then. Uh, unfortunately, my leg injury has slowed me down, so this will be the first time that I actually get to get out and do another stealth camp. And that'll be tonight's episode is the viewer's choice from back in November. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead, once this video is over with, go back and watch that video and uh, to let me know what you think about the other two locations that I didn't uh, stealth camp at because all of the people who watched chose this site. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh man, y'all. I just pulled up to get my step twos for the night and they are sold out. I cannot believe it. My goodness. Let me show y'all. There it is. Sold out. No donuts for Uncle Dubs tonight. Looks like we're gonna have to go to another place. All right, location number two for tonight's step twos. Let me try to not get run over by the guy who's not paying attention while he's driving. Here we go. Can you help me, sir? Oh, no, I'm just looking. Thank you, though. All right, folks, got my step twos. A little disappointed. I was really looking forward to getting some donuts from that little donut shop in town, but hey, you know, congratulations to them. They sold out, so that's gotta be a good day for them. Um, so what I wound up with is two red velvet cupcakes. Uh, a little disappointed to have to go with cupcakes again since that's what I did in the last video. But hey, it is what it is. It's still something sweet, it'll be good. Um, don't know if I'm gonna show the inside the store footage or not, but in case I don't, red velvet cupcakes. So had to get them from Publix, which Publix is usually pretty good. So anyway, now I'm running behind. Uh, gonna try and get over here, to get set up, see what we can do. See you soon. I'm gonna try and give y'all multiple camera angles here. So just bear with me. Here we go.
trying to get hard, that would be That's why I keep still the knees and then dropped off that here. I shot the video where y'all decided where I'd be still. road out there and all the cars going by. I hear the road noise. Let's just say there's houses over there. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes a truck. I'm gonna set the camera down. Let's see what this guy's doing. He's not a cop, so that's good. He's just kind of rolling around. I don't need him to park over there, that's for sure. I still got stuff to carry in. Alright, here we go. Guy in the truck's leaving. Let's see if we can get back to the spot without being noticed too much. Let's not go that way, let's go this way. What's the guy in the truck doing? He's still sitting there. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Getting back in the woods. Hope we don't get no visitors tonight who want to come out and drink. I really don't want to be hidden out here with other people coming around. general direction I'm gonna go I'm gonna go take a look see see what we got and uh, yeah I'll let you know here in a second okay so I'm gonna turn it around show you what all I've done so far and we'll, uh, we'll take it from here. I gotta go park the vehicle and then walk back. And I'm losing sunlight, as you can see, so I gotta hurry. So I got the tarp laid down and then I used it to cover up everything. You can see there's a little turnaround area back there I'm kind of open to. So I'll flip this camo tarp up a little bit and lay it on my tent and that should help guard me. And then there's the store and the parking lot. I've got this little blind out, kind of, it's not perfectly straight. So that way it doesn't really tip off to anybody what's going on. Now let's go get to the vehicle and uh, see if I can get my way out of here and go park and come on back. I really hate to do this, leave my camp, but I don't have a choice. I gotta get this vehicle parked. And 
I just hope nobody spots my stuff and then calls the cops and they're waiting on me or they let me get set up and then they come in and bust me. Well, that would be bad. All right. Just want to kind of give y'all a shot of the parking lot and the road. You can see the cars going out there. I'm way off, but I'm still kind of wide open. I'm back in there. So, yeah. Can't see anything from right here in the vehicle, but if you walk up into the grass about 10 or 15 feet, well, it's over. All right. Let's get everything. Let's get out of here. I got a long walk ahead of me. I'm going to run out of daylight. Don't want to be walking at night on a main highway. So apparently, Friday afternoon is a bad time to try and stealth camp near a flea market. Because apparently, all the people who have booths come in on Friday evenings and fill them up for the weekend. So, there's been four or five people just out there unloading right at the door where they can look over in the woods and see me. Uh, it's about time to cross the street. Let's see. All right. Let's cross the road. and leisure walk. That's all we're doing. Just a nice leisurely walk in the cool breeze. Too many people up front. We're gonna go around the back way. Hope there's no cameras. My leg needs a break. I gotta sit down. Alright, we made it this far. Now got to get across to over there I had to quit walking on that side which provides the best coverage because it was too dang loud everything was cracking and popping under my feet here we go We're in the woods. There's my camp. Let's see. We can get over to it. Get sat down for a few minutes. Take a breather. My leg is war slap out. And I mean that. You're in. Hello. <laughs> hey, everybody. If you like this video, do me a big favor and give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. And if you really like it, go ahead and subscribe and ding the bell notification so that you're notified every time something like this comes up. Appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. All right, y'all. Sitting here taking a break. Just got back from that walk. That walk was almost 20 minutes. That's literally the furthest I have walked at one time in over two months because of uh, my leg injury. So my leg is tapped out. Uh, so I'm just sitting here and I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do my step two. I know I haven't eaten dinner uh, yet, but dinner's gonna require another walk and I just, you know, I, I just, I gotta have something. So let's go ahead and do our, uh, do our step two or 
my version of the step two. Camp's not set up, but camp is found and partially set up. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we got. All right. So like I was saying earlier, the donut shop was sold out. Couldn't do, couldn't get anything from them. So I had to go back to old trustworthy Publix. Got some red velvet uh, cupcakes with um, cream cheese icing. So bottoms up. This is gonna be loud. Not too bad. These actually have little chocolate chips on them. Kind of show show you what I'm talking about. Well, there we go. Yeah. Let's see if Publix lets us down. Mm. Boy, that's good. It's even got a little chocolate filling in the middle. Didn't know that, that's a little surprise. Um, I forgot to do something, y'all, so bear with me. Dear Lord, please bless this food to the nourishment of my body and my body to your service. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mm. Yep. Could definitely do without the chocolate in the middle. It's good, but wasn't expected so um, but hey that's all right they're trying to doll it up a little bit at, at old public so we won't be mad at them for that huh hmm. let me see if i can show y'all where we're at here so back there there's some steel beams being stored there's a 18 wheeler uh, trailer back there in that direction through the woods there over the asphalt and into more woods there's two 18 wheelers parked and then there's uncle dubs and then there is the parking lot now those lights that are on i don't know if you can see that in the camera those lights that are on the parking lot sometimes they're on sometimes they're not i hope they're not tonight i hope they cut off in a couple hours you can see the sun's already set and then, of course, there's the flea market over there. So. All right, I hope that's not too bright. I'm going to see if I can get camp set up real quick. Of course, they're just out there sitting in their truck. Now they're pulling away.
I know you can't see them. This light right here, they're right over here to the left of it. Did you see the brake lights? There they go. Man, that was close. Okay. So, honestly, setting up where I set up at is the main drive lane. I wasn't paying attention to that. So where I set up earlier is the main drive lane coming into the shop. I'm gonna have to move my whole camp. Crap. Or, I mean, there's room back here for the camp. Now that it's dark, I can't really see very well, obviously. And if I move any further back here, that opens me up to that road back there for in the morning if somebody comes back there working or something. All right. I think I'm gonna stay where I'm at. But honestly, I'm not gonna set the tent up any more than that. I'm just gonna slide into it tonight. And if it, if the tent's touching me, the tent's touching me, but I can't have 50 million things to unhook and untie in the morning. I got to be able to get out of here. Now I know why everybody hammock camps when they stealth camp a lot. So yeah, this is uh, definitely, definitely sketchy at the moment. All right, so I've made a decision. I'm not gonna get my backpack out or anything until, um, until it gets much, much later. I'm probably gonna be up most of the night just in case I gotta book it in a hurry. So, cause with this bum leg, I need I need every shot I can get to get out of here in case somebody comes creeping up on me or the cops show up. Can't be getting thrown in jail. All right, see y'all. Closing up shop. Just heard people talking and walking out to that truck right there. That should be it for the night, I think. Hopefully. Just don't need any more people pulling up. Once they're gone, I'll walk out to that parking lot and see if my camp can be seen. Because if it can be seen, I'll definitely have to move it, obviously. There's a car. Oh, okay. He's in the median. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay, that scared me. All right. There's houses right over there. Let's get the heck back in the campsite, folks. All right. Let's go get some dinner. Like I say, I didn't bring anything to cook with tonight. I was kind of rushed, and since I grilled my steak last week, I didn't have another steak. So I'm gonna walk out, see if I can't get get some grub without being detected too much. This open field really bothers me. turn this phone off because it is putting out a little light all right I hope the taco truck is still over here I got through the field and I'm just walking back here behind the little store houses all on the other side of that fence so I don't want to make too much noise in case somebody's outside there are not any no trespassing signs. So, that's a good thing. All right, success. <clears throat> the taco truck is still there. But you see, I gotta walk out in this open area here. There's 
a lot of cars over there. All right, ain't nothing to do but to do it. So, here we go. All right, we made it into the shadows. Now, let's just get back to camp. This is a good workout for my leg so that I can try and get ready for the, the February challenge from the Stealth Camping Alliance. Really concerned about a two hour walk since I'm not completely healthy yet, but hey, this is, this is definitely helping me work on it. Boy, them lights are bright. I feel like they're just pointing right at me, but I know I'm dressed in black and brown, and I know I'm back here in these shadows. I know they really can't see me. As long as I don't have anything reflective or stand in front of something that's reflective to show a shadow, I'll be all right. Okay. Now back to the big open area. I got to, I'm just gonna sit here and give it a moment to see, see if anything's going on, moving around. Cause that, that is a long wall. Get to over there, that is a safe right now I'm gonna go ahead and walk hey if you're liking this content do me a favor hit the like button subscribe and drop a comment down below let me know what you think about this stealth camp and uh, everything that's going on also ding the bell for the notifications that way you know each and every time I post something new on YouTube you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All right, here we go. Let's go. I still can't run. But maybe I can walk fast. The sad thing is, if somebody pulls up, I can't kneel down very fast, so I'd be a sitting duck. All right. This is the last time I should have to cross this field tonight. Here we go, into the woods. All right, well, all right, let's get here and stop for a minute. I wanna listen, see if I hear people talking, hear noises that aren't natural to the woods. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. I took my backpack with me that time, just in case when I came back, there was, you know, cars over here or something. That way if I had to bail out, I could get out with most of my gear and not have to try and replace, you know, all of my gear because that would suck i don't want to i don't want to lose any of my gear but i'd rather not get caught either so i'm willing to leave some of it behind in the morning i'll there's so much trash here in the morning i'll try to pick up some trash and uh you know do all that all right i gotta get through these trees all right, y'all, I can't, I can't leave this light on for too long. People can, I know they can see over here because I'm not down behind my blind or anything. But it's dinner time. Thought I'd show y'all what we got. I'm gonna put this on the red light. Hope that don't bother you. If it does, I'm sorry.
There we go. I have to use my hand to reflect it. I'm kind of a clean hand freak, so I got some sanitizer here. You already know what we got. I went to the taco truck. He got me some bomb street tacos. These things are delicious. They're the bomb. The bomb.com. Put a little lime juice on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, there we go. Let's bless this. Dear Lord, thank you for this time. Lord, please bless this food. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Please bless it to the nourishment of my body and my body to your service. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah, here we go. Chow down. Oh, yeah. So, hey, if you're liking this stealth camping content, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, ding the bell notification. Let me know what you think about this video, okay? I'm trying to get better at these, you know, filming angles and stuff, and I know I'm having to kind of scrunch down, but uh, this is my first stealth camp without my vehicle, so, you know, it's kind of, you know, semi-first time, so. I'm kind of learning, learning as we go here. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, how long a video you typically like to watch. Depending on what it is, I'll watch an hour long video. Then in other videos, I might only like to watch 10 or 15 minutes of them. It depends on the type of content that it is. So, with stealth camping content, let me know what, what it is that you like to see because, you know, I'm probably filming over an hour's worth of content, but I'm going to cut down a bunch. And, uh, you know, if you like 15-minute videos, and that's kind of the bulk of what everybody says, well, then I try to make my, my videos around 15 minutes. If you like, you know, 30 minutes or longer, I'll try to make them longer. It just depends on... You know, like I said, kind of the feedback that I get. Also, I'm wearing my Rickwood Field t-shirt. Rickwood Field is a non um, <laughs> The Friends of Rickwood Field is a non-profit 5013C that is charged with taking care of Rickwood Field in Birmingham, Alabama. It's America's oldest professional baseball park. It was built in 1910, and um, I'll put the link in my description to the website. Go check it out. You don't have to give money or anything like that. If you choose to, that would be fantastic. Um, you know, donating to Rickwood, that is. We have a membership program where you get some things. You know, we have a website store, but it's very neat history, and I would love for you to go and check it out and, you know, Drop me a comment and let me know what you think about, you know, Rickwood Field being America's oldest baseball park. All right, I'm going to finish eating and uh, catch up with y'all in a little while. Hey, y'all. Uh, I know it's dark, but you can see they cut the lights off on the parking lot. That is A number one. I think that's going to be a good thing. Definitely helped me go to sleep tonight. Now... All the moonlight is illuminating the woods. There's no dark spots. I can actually see what's going on around me. This is very, very cool. I can get y'all a shot of the moon. Let's see. There it is. I'm just sitting here watching some YouTube videos 
Catch y'all later. Hey everybody. I'm just uh, laying down outside the tent, enjoying the quiet, quiet night. I mean, there's some road noise, but not too bad. And uh, thought I'd show you my view. I got the moon right over me, and it's uh, it's very nice to just lay here and let it just kind of shine, shine down on me and relax. So, hope you're enjoying the video. Check in with you later. All right, everybody. That was an ordeal getting into the tent trying to get into the sleeping bag and the tent at the same time. This thing is touching me all the way around. The tent is, so I don't know how well this is gonna work throughout the night because I only sleep on my back when I have my CPAP machine. When I don't, I sleep on my side so that I can breathe. Um, so we'll see how the night goes. But I'm gonna sign off unless something happens during the night. I'll let you know. See you in the morning. A car just drove by. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang out for a little while with my tent door open to see if I notice anybody else coming back. And if somebody else comes back, we're gonna have to call it a night. folks I think I'm gonna have to call it there's no way that I can handle this many people driving by and not get seen at some point somebody's gonna get out and come walking up here morning everybody it's uh, about 6 a.m. I am uh, gonna go ahead and get everything packed up I got a long walk back to the vehicle it was a uneventful night after about midnight. Before that, though, there were a couple folks that pulled up. It was really kind of, really kind of sketchy there for a while. But, uh, but yeah. So now I'm just trying to get packed up, get the heck out of here. And now my light doesn't want to work. See ya. All right. So I picked up some trash, put it in a bag. Now I'm gonna come back for all of it here in a little while. I gotta go get my vehicle. And once I do that, uh, I'll drive back over here and run into the woods and pick my stuff up and everything. But now all I gotta do is get 
to my vehicle and it will be a successful stealth camp. I gotta say, that was a rough night of sleep, but I knew it kind of would be. I'm glad I did it. Glad I got that stealther in the books. And I'm almost out of the woods now. I got about a half a mile to go to get to my vehicle. Future note, park closer. <laughs> All, right. All right, I've already made one trip back here to get my stuff. Now I'm making what should be the last trip. Sorry if the camera's all shaky and everything, but I'm in a dang hurry. Gotta get out of here. Alright folks, that's it. That self camp is in the books. Officially made it. Officially did not get caught. Although we had some close calls last night. And uh, yeah, so time to go get a biscuit. Get some stuff at the store and go home and get in bed and try to get a couple hours of sleep. Hey, if y'all like this video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and then drop a comment. Tell me what you think about this video and uh, that way I can keep making camping videos and I'll know that y'all are interested in watching them. Thank you so much. See you.